The K1 World Max Japan Tournament 2005, the quarterfinal. Hayato of Japan in the blue corner. Takakiro Murahama of Japan in the red. Well, there's an old adage that says size is everything. But in this case, it's only the size of the fight in the dog, not the size of the dog in the fight. They do say the best things come in little bundles. Vienna, the Super League Austria 2005, the under 76 kilogram division. Moises Baptista de Souza of Brazil faces off against Dimitri Shakuta of Belarus. This was always going to be a raucous, rough and tumble. But Moises Baptista de Souza Stepped his mark on it early. Shakuta never really recovering. Well, that is full contact, Nirvana. Same event in Austria, the Super League 2000 pitted Kamel El Amrani of Germany against Wira Chalunla of Thailand. El Amrani proving unequivocally that some of the best Thai fighters don't always reside in Bangkok. Picture perfect. That's his move. Kamel El Amrani. Stay tight. There's some more KO action to come after this short break. Welcome back to KO Mania, our new mini magazine program. Well, the K1 Europe 2005 semi-final pitted Freddy Cameo of France against Semi Shilt of the Netherlands. And it seemed against all odds that Freddy Cameo would even have a chance in this bout. But he came out and gave it his all. And wishing against everything, it looked as if Cameo, with that explosive sense of fight that he has, could pull something out of the bag. But Schilt was just too tall a task.
This was the night K1 Europe 2005, the super fight, the battle of the ghouls. Cyril Abidi of Marseille, Jerome Lebonair. Well, Cyril Abidi was going to teach Lebonair a lesson, and Lebonair was having none of it. Cyril Abidi would not go down, but Lebonair was just awesomely relentless. There were times, it seems, in this fight when Lebonair could have finished it. But almost took a kind of delight in allowing it to go on. As I said, Abidi wouldn't go down. And just stood there trading with the man they call Geronimo. Incidentally, you'll never see a bump like this one. Just look at the right eye of Jerome Lebonair. K1 Hiroshima, Tom Howard of the USA, Hong Man Choi of Korea. Well, whatever strategy Tom Howard had to fight this man giant from Korea. I think standing and trading punches with him wasn't a good one. Great effort from Howard. But on the day, Hong Mam Choi just turned out to be a bridge too far. Well, Hong Mam Choi hardly presents as Nijinsky. Nevertheless, that knee strike very effective. Hiroshima 2005, it's the semi-final. Hiraku Hori of Japan faces the beast. He's big, he's bad, he's Bob Sapp. And he just puts together some big old punches here. Hiraku Hori on the business end of the man they call the beast.
catch anybody in there, they're getting laid out. They don't get laid out, they're getting hurt. I'm gonna bring it though, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna put on a good show for you guys. Yeah, famous last words. The K1 final 2004, the quarter final. Kao Klai Kayan Orsing, the pride of Thailand versus Mighty Mo. Now this man put the art in martial arts. Mighty Mo of the USA, double the weight of Kao Klai Kayan Orsing. Kayan Orsing just takes him out. And the MT stylist gives us all a kickboxing lesson. One Las Vegas, the 2005 final. Glau Feitosa of Brazil, Gary Goodridge of the USA. Well, this had been just an awesome competition all the way through. And it culminated in the Kyoka Shinkai Kid. Glau Feitosa taking Gary Goodridge on in the final. Well, Feitosa takes him on in the final and takes him out in the final. Goodrich beats the count, but the referee not convinced. And Feitosa takes the winner's cup. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my little selection of KOs. Look out for more KO manias. It's going to feature as part of Fight Club quite regularly in the future. And I hope to bring you the biggest, the baddest, the monstrous KOs that uh, we bring you here on Fight Club. I've had fun. I hope you have too. Next Fight Club this coming Monday, the 15th of August at 7.15, the Karate Shinkyoka Shinkai World Cup and the European Cup. Also, for your Fight Club diary on the 22nd of August at 8pm, the K1 World Max Championship Final, plus a special commentating surprise. Don't miss it.